we made a new friend on our way to our Airbnb. While in Abu Dhabi, we thought it would be fun for just one night to stay in a boathouse. So we followed our guide back to our sleeping quarters for the night. This is our boat for the night where we're gonna be staying. It looks like Lindsay started the party without me. The next morning, we took our boat out for a relaxing ride out into the Persian Gulf. we floated past downtown Abu Dhabi. I went down to the first level to take some video and Lindsay locked me out. Oh yeah, it locks, I'll come let you in. Thanks, Lindsay. Time for food and coffee. I wonder what they serve here. Yes, the food and drinks are as good as they look. You know it's really good when you get the happy dance. Now that we're full, time to visit the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. There's a mall attached to the mosque, just like a regular mall. Food, clothing shops, and even Bath and Body Works. But that's not why we're here. They have pretty tight security and are very strict on their dress code. More on that later on. Once we got past security, you head down a very long hall called the Tolerance Path. It's lined with images and words that represent the mosque. But at long last, we finally arrived. This is the biggest mosque in UAE, and it's named after the founder of UAE and the first president, Sheikh Zayed bin Zultan Al Nahyan. The courtyard area right outside the mosque is so beautiful, filled with palm trees, fountains, and ponds. Construction of the mosque started in 1996 and wasn't completed until 2007 taking over a decade to build. It's gorgeous. The mosque has 82 domes that are made of marble. As you can see, they vary in size. The designs on the ceiling are all handcrafted. They clean the domes year round to keep the marble as white as possible. The floor is made of marble and has floral designs uniquely spread throughout the entrance of the mosque. If you ever want to visit Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, there are a few very important rules you need to remember. Number one, make sure you observe the strict dress code. For males, no shorts or sleeveless shirts. And for females, no tightly fitted clothes and make sure they cover your arms and your legs fully. And make sure you have a scarf or a piece of clothing to cover your head. Number two, don't use hand gestures while posing for pictures like peace signs or thumbs up. Number three, keep your hands to yourself. When you're posing in pictures in the designated areas, no touching one another. Keep your hands by your side or in front of you. There are many other rules that you can observe on their website.
there are multiple very large chandeliers throughout the mosque made up of millions of crystals. This wall faces Mecca and has 99 attributes of God or Allah written all on the wall. This clock displays the five different prayer times. The carpet inside was hand knotted by over 1200 Iranian artisans and took over two years to complete. The largest chandelier in the mosque weighs over 12 tons and is one of the largest in the world. I can't stop staring at the beautiful and detailed design of this place. Thank you so much to the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque for having us. We had a wonderful time. 